Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Pablo from DMAR Shoe Repair in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. Today's project is a very, very cool pair of Truman uh, boots. This, these are navy waxed flesh, um, which means they are the rough outside of whorewing leather, so the suede side, and then they are heavily waxed at the whorewing factory. Um, and it gives you this kind of waxed appearance. Makes them super waterproof, super durable. Uh, these are just awesome boots. And uh, today we're going to resole them because they come with a Ridgeway sole and our customer doesn't find them very comfortable. Uh, finds them a little bit uh, uneven when he's walking. And he really loves the Dr. Sole uh, line of rubber soles. So today we're going to do a new leather midsole and then the Dr. Soul uh, half sole in the super grip and uh, Dr. Soul heels in the super grip as well. Uh, we're also going to re-welt these with a new split welt. Um, so yeah, let's take these apart and see what Truman has to offer. Alrighty, let's break these bad boys apart. I love Truman boots. Got a couple pairs in my collection. And uh, so you have the navy wax flesh on the upper, uh, and then you have the uh, brown calfskin tongue. Pretty cool combination there. Alright, so the sole, the midsole is off, and surprisingly there is no cork filler or leather filler. There is just uh, some foam. Um, I thought for sure these would have some cork, but it's just foam. And then I thought there would also be a uh, steel shank, but it's just uh, fiberglass. Ah, pretty strong though, pretty strong. So. We might reuse that, but we definitely are going to change the foam filler with the cork filler. Now we'll take this uh, Goodyear welt off.
So we have uh, the boot deconstructed. So we remove the welt, we remove the foam filler, the shank, the leather midsole, everything. So now we're going to put in a new leather storm welt right here. This one comes pre-dyed to a really nice uh, tan color. Um, and I am going to pass off the uh, re-welting to an employee of mine and a friend who's an excellent welter. So we'll watch him do the welting process. Alright guys? All right, and a big shout out to our friend Mario for doing an amazing job welting these Truman boots. 
The next step in the rebuild is to fill uh, this little cavity here between the footbed and the upper and the welt. And Truman, like I told you guys, use foam. And uh, we always use cork here. Um, I like cork uh, the best for filler material. Uh, it's flexible, it's breathable, it's moldable. It lasts a very long time. Um, the foam they used, definitely comfortable. Uh, I don't know how it would hold up long term, but to each their own. And I am gonna reuse the fiberglass shank. It's actually pretty strong, so we'll keep that original. So let's get these uh, babies glued in. Alright, so our next step is to glue on our leather midsole to the welt and the boot.
All right, guys, as you can see, we have our new leather midsole, uh, our new leather storm welt uh, glued on. And the next step is to glue on the Dr. Soul Super Grip half sole. So what we're going to do is cut a little splice into the leather sole so we can fit our Dr. Soul flush with the sole, um, glue it on, and then hop onto our stitcher. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's centered. These Dr. Soles are kinda hard to, to work with, but we'll get it. You gotta kinda curve the waist and get the toe centered. I think we are Good there. And some cobblers will just hop onto their sander and with their sanding wheel cut their splice. But the proper way is use a knife in your hand and that way you get an exact straight cut. You can control the depth that you're cutting into the leather. Just a more skilled and proper way to do it. Always check to make sure the depth that I've cut into the leather sole is even right, right through. I can see right here it's a little less cut into, so just going to touch that spot up. Perfect. All right, so I've sanded the rest of the sole and uh, the bottom of the rubber sole so it sticks better. I'm just gonna tape over the splice so I don't get any glue onto the good part of the sole. And we're gonna do two coats of glue on the leather, one coat on the rubber.
Alright guys, so we are rolling along just nicely. So we have the Dr. Soul now stitched onto the welt. And the more I uh, work on this boot, the more I start to admire how beautiful this uh, wax flesh leather is. And uh, at some point I just have to have one of these into my collection. Truman makes awesome wax flesh. Nick's awesome wax flesh. Uh, yesterday I went to a ball game with my friend and he was wearing a brand new pair of whites, uh, olive navy wax flesh, and they were just spectacular. So highly, highly recommend this leather. Super durable, uh, super water resistant. So anyways, with that said, we just need to uh, reattach these Truman leather heel bases that came with the uh, original soles and then install our Dr. Sole uh, heel. Uh, sand everything up, finish the edges, and that should be about it for this project. Guys, thanks so much for uh, watching this Truman transformation video. We are all done. As you can see, we now have a totally transformed boot. We have a new 270 degree leather storm welt, a new leather midsole, and then of course the Dr. Sole Super Grip half soles in green color and also on the heels. Uh, the stitching on the welt turned out pretty sweet. The bottom stitch perfect. Um, like I mentioned before, just the feel of this leather is phenomenal. Um, I think my customer is going to love the feel now. He wasn't liking the old Ridgeway soles. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. And some pics of the before and afters are going to follow this. And don't forget to Hulk smash that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time, guys.